Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. My name is Nisha and I love fragrances. I was tagged by the beautiful Simply Aisha to do a personality tag. My personality tag it's called. I would have done it a lot while now but I have been sick with the cold so you know your girl couldn't do no video. So I'm here today to do the personality tag. Thank you Aisha for tagging me. I really appreciate it. Guys, so let's begin so the first question is what is my boss babe scent let me make sure that's the question what is my boss babe scent well i look through my collection and i'm like which fragrance makes me feel like a badass which fragrance makes me feel bossy and i have to say triumph of bacchus yes now i wanted to choose side effects but this one oh my goodness this fragrance when I even put this to my nose, when I wear this fragrance, I feel so bossy. I feel in charge. I feel confident. This fragrance is absolutely sexy, okay? Absolutely sexy. This is very unisex. And baby, when I wear this, there's no holding me back. There's no stopping me. I absolutely love Triumph of Bacchus. This is tobacco. This is boozy. This is sexy. This is loud. It projects and you get compliments. So this is my boss babe scent. The next question is, what is my bedtime scent? And I have been talking about this scent for a while. And guys, this is from Kay Ali and this is one of my favorite bedtime scent. And so sad. Guys, it's almost done. Kayali, if you're looking, I need 100 ml in this. I cannot find this anyway. Now, I'm not sure if they stopped making it or what's the deal with it, but I need this. This is so comforting. When I get out of the shower and I'm going to bed, I just douse myself in this fragrance. This has freesia. There's another floral in this, but it's musk. There's some sandalwood. Guys, this... Oh some vanilla this is so so pretty it's effortless it's it's that fragrance that you wear without thinking about it it smells sexy without being too much it's one of those scents that you can fall asleep in and not be choked out okay this musk 12 is my absolute favorite bedtime scent the other question is what is your hug in a bottle and that was a hard one because i have a lot of cozy scents but i was like pulling out my cap and smelling and all that. And I have to say, it's Piano Santal from La Castra Parfums. I haven't had this too long in my collection. I put it down for the summer, but this is another one that I love smelling. It's another one that I love to go to bed with as well. To me, when I smell this, it's cozy. It's like a, a nice fluffy sweater and you're wearing this. The sandalwood in here is absolutely beautiful. Some of the notes in this, we have um, we have milk. So it's a lactonic scent. There's a skin note in this as well. Gives it that sexy kind of vibe. There's sandalwood, cashmere, there's white musk. There's cumin, which I don't pick up because me and cumin ain't friendly. There's some cedar, there's some broxen, but guys, this is soft. It's delicate, it's creamy, it's lactonic, and it's sexy. And when I smell this, I feel cozy. I feel like this is my hog in a bottle. So this is Piano Santal from La Orchestra Parfums. Other one is what's your secret weapon of mass seduction? <laughs> now this one I'm like, bro, what do I, which one do I choose? Which fragrance? I think it's very seductive. Now seductive for me, and also the opposite sex, right? My husband. <laughs> what fragrance when I wear, I feel sexy. I know that when I wear this fragrance, he absolutely loves it as well. And I almost chose Cavort because that is date night for sure. But I must say, I have to choose Possibilities by La Perla. Guys, the first time I put this to my head, I was like, what in the world? This fragrance is feminine. It's sweet. It's floral. It's sexy. It's intoxicating. 
if you have not tried this fragrance guys this has some black currant there's a beautiful freesia note but it's heavy on the rose there's some orange blossom but in the base we have some cashmere there's some um vanilla there's some ambergris there's a little bit of woody nuance to this guys this is the epitome of sexiness this is feminine this is classy oh my word i bought a decant of this and i had to get the full size bottle i was like nah this is full bottle worthy and guys this is possibilities if you have not tried this what are you waiting for please get your nose on it it is so so pretty so this is my seduction what's it called uh weapon of mass seduction so this is la perla from possibilities okay the other question is what is the one fragrance you never wear but you cannot part with and i think it's angel muse i really like this i don't wear it but i'll never get rid of it <laughs> it's not a bad scent it's very strong very very strong this has hazelnut it's heavy on the patchouli it's woody actually this smells really good hmm it's been so long i i don't think if I, I even wore this last year i need to wear this i think it's even discontinued but i never ever wear it but i'll never get rid of it but i think i need to start now that i i pulled it out and i sniffed it i think i need to wear this because it smells really good <laughs> So yeah, Angel Muse is one of those fragrances. Moving on. The other question is, what is one of your favorite fragrances that you don't wear enough? And I have to say it's side effects. This is my lifer. This is a fragrance that I will never be without. This was my first initial fragrance and I absolutely love it. This fragrance is tobacco, it's rum, it's vanilla and it's cinnamon. This is sexy, it's bold, it's in charge it's badass guys totally unisex why don't i wear you enough i love it so much that i don't wear it enough does that ever happen to you it's like you love it so much but you don't wear it it's like you're waiting for the perfect time to wear it because it's so beautiful it holds so much amazing memories to it and yeah this fragrance was the first one that i bought from initio and that's when i started my youtube channel this I think was the first fragrance I bought from Fragrance Buy too. I didn't even know about that company. Guys, I absolutely love, love side effects and I need to wear this some more because this is so sexy, especially in the winter and the fall. Oh my God, this is heaven and I need to wear it some more. I don't know why I don't, but I love it so much. Doesn't make sense, does it? So the other question is, what is a fragrance you would recommend for a beginner who wants to smell unique? Now, to me, when I just started my niche journey, this was one of the first fragrances that I purchased. And I think it's a fragrance that is easily loved. It's not a fragrance that is complex so much to the point where it's hard to wear. Guys, and this is from Killian, and this is Good Girl Gone Bad. This fragrance is such a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's very feminine. It's very sexy. This has osmanthus. There's jasmine. There's some rose. It has Indian tuberose. It has some amber. It has some cedar. Guys, if you haven't tried this, you need to get your nose on this. And I think this would be a beautiful stepping stone for niche fragrances also smelling unique this is absolutely beautiful and i really really love this every time i wear this people would always compliment me even people who don't know about niche fragrances like you know they're just designers and they don't really know about these they really like it so i think this is a great one to start it off so this is killian and this is good girl gone bad so the other question is what is a fragrance that i love that everyone else seems to hate <laughs> guys i have to say it's this fragrance right here this is tonka extraordinaire by epc now i find this smells so beautiful I find it so warm and inviting, especially for the fall. This has sesame, it has hazelnut, almond, frankincense, myrrh, labdanum, and of course, tonka bean. I think this is extremely beautiful. 
at the first spray you gotta let it sit for a little bit and then this turns into the most beautiful scent but I sprayed this on a few people men well two of them plus somebody else and they seem to absolutely hate this fragrance one person even told me that that's the worst thing ever but guys no it's not you need to sample this you need to wear it. I think it's so so beautiful it's not bad at all but some people just tend to hate this and I don't know why it is beautiful okay get your nose on this I, I just don't understand one of my neighbors smelled it he's like girl that's the worst fragrance I've smelled on you I was like hell no no you didn't no you didn't guys don't don't even listen to that part you need to get your nose on this this is EPC and this is Tonka Extraordinaire and I think it's absolutely beautiful I love it so yeah that's the one that I love that everybody else seemed to hate hey you win some you lose some okay this other question is what is an overhyped fragrance that I currently own now ladies do not come for me okay don't come for me I would say it's Nishane 100 silent ways I know I know everybody loves this and it's not a bad fragrance but I just think it's overhyped it smells nice but it ain't all of that but it's nice I will wear it I love it but it's overhyped the way how people go down about this I'm like bruh it, it cute but it ain't all that that's just my humble opinion don't come for me don't come for me this is tuberose this is peach there's some florals there's some sandalwood now it's really a pretty scent but to me in my opinion it's overhyped and that's Nishane 100 silent way so let me get off of this one real quick because you guys coming for me <laughs> the other question is what fragrance is on the chopping block I bought this I probably wore it once and I don't know I don't reach for it and this is Panettone from um, who is this okay I don't even have my glasses on oh Lord Milano Fragranza now everybody loves this I blind bought it it smells great I'm like oh yeah it smells like bread and it's so delicious it's boozy it has orange blossom there's some carrot seeds some ginger oh it does smell good but I wasn't reaching for it I was not reaching for it and it's sad because like if I'm not wearing it I need to get rid of it because it's a hot mess back here just today I was trying to organize some shelves because some of the shelves are too heavy and they look like they want to break so I had to kind of change them around and try to redistribute the weight because some of them were real heavy and this one is on the chopping block actually I already got a sale for this so <laughs> bye bye this is panettone okay it smells good but it's not for me I'm not reaching for it so it's gotta go the other question is what is the last fragrance you've purchased and you guys haven't even seen this yet and this I purchased for my birthday I wanted this and I'm like girl you got to get this for your birthday and this is from Louboutin and this is the beautiful Luby Prince I have wanted this fragrance for so long for so long and I'm so happy to have it in my collection guys look at the bottle just just look at it look at the luxury this is freaking phenomenal okay that sandalwood and the tonka bean it's dark it's rich and it's sexy so this is the last fragrance that I purchased moving on the other question is which fragrance is to the top of my wish list and at this point I really want to get a bottle of Altier from Perfumes de Marly I sample that fragrance and I am in love with it and I would love to have a full bottle of it but I'm waiting to get a discount I'm looking for a good deal so if somebody wants to send it to me happy belated birthday thank you very much <laughs> I'm just joking but yeah I really really want a bottle of Altier I think I pronounced that right from Perfumes de Marly that's one of them my my fragrance wish list is huge but that's the one that I could think of to the top of my head so yeah and the last question is what is your number one fragrance for life and I looked through my collection now oh, that was hard that was really really hard but if I had to be honest with myself something that I have to have in my collection for the rest of my life 
is Nishani Nefs. Oh my goodness. When I tell you, this is sexy. This is, this is strong. Oh, this is intoxicating, seriously intoxicating. This has honey, it has saffron, there's rose, there's some oud, there's cinnamon. Guys, there's a whole bunch of notes, but when I tell you, this does not play, it is sexy. This, I cannot go with more than five sprays. I will choke someone or choke myself out. But oh my God, guys, now this is a pretty, pretty penny. But when I tell you, it is worth every penny of it. I didn't buy this full price, so don't get twisted. But it is so good. It is so, so beautiful. Guys, I am in love with Nefs. It is amazing. And for the winter, oh my God, I haven't worn it for the seasoners yet, but I cannot wait. Mm, I cannot wait. So this is my number one for life. Guys, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you had fun. I hope this gave you a little more insight on my taste and fragrances. Thank you, Aisha, for tagging me. Guys, if you don't watch Aisha, um, I don't know what's up with you. She has amazing content. I'll list her, um, her channel below. Thank you again for tagging me. Guys, if you're not following me, if you're just looking at this video, then please, hey, hit that subscribe button. It's free. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok where we have lots of fun as well. And until next video, be safe, be kind, and smell fabulous. Bye now.